the only journey is a journey within. Reina Maria, a famous poet, said these words in the early 90s and the sentiments have never held so true. This week we shall base our focus on mental health and all it pertains. I'll be your host, Oshira Yvonne. Did you know that one in every four people in Kenya suffer from mental related issues that go undiagnosed? Until such a time the society deems it that they are losing it. The World Health Organization estimates that half of the mental illnesses begin at the age of 14, though most cases go undetected and untreated. Our correspondent Wemo Wikali attended on one of a kind training that aimed at bridging the mental health gap between the adolescent and the young people in Kenya. Let's hear what she has to say. So today we're having a guest that is, he will introduce himself and tell us where he, who he is and where he is from. So yes, welcome sir. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Iregi Mwenja. Mm -hmm. I work with PDO Kenya. Mm -hmm. Here at PDO, we do mental health treatment mm -hmm. and mental health advocacy. Okay. And today we are privileged to have an activity going on. Uh, we are training community mental health workers. Okay. Yes. So the community mental health workers reach out to young people or in general everyone? Uh, the people we train, we want them to reach mm -hmm. out to everybody. Okay. Uh, we have a special program for young people where we bring them here and we talk to them about uh, their mental health and well-being. Okay. But the people training, being trained here today reach out to everybody in the society. Mm -hmm. Young people, they are youth-friendly uh, uh, organizations and they are youth-friendly projects that are there to help you uh, access the professional help you need. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm happy I have seen a lot of young people coming to us mm -hmm. and talking to us about their challenges. Mm -hmm. And we treat you uh, confidentially, we handle everything confidentially. Mm -hmm. Nobody will ever know that you came to us for a certain problem. <laughs> and that, that's the most basic rule in, in, our, in our line of work. No and therefore, you shouldn't even worry about uh, your, your people knowing about what you're going through. Come mm -hmm. to us, we'll give you services. And in most cases, we'll give you services for free mm -hmm. because you don't think that you need to suffer and struggle alone. So that's it for today. So back to your studio, Yvonne. Let's move to Studio B where we have Rehema Pendo and see what she has for us. So hi, I am Rehema Pendo and this is Olive and today we'll be talking about mental health and how it affects them in their universities. So Olive, yes. uh, from my understanding, I understand that you go to Egerton University. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I would like the audience to understand how mental health affects the people in it in your university? Um, in Egerton University, mental health is a very big issue. Um, it affects people differently. Ladies and gentlemen all experience mental health differently. There are some who decide to be introverts and stay on their own. They get depressed and others who decide to indulge in abusive relationships and uh, the others who also decide to do drugs and abuse drugs and alcohol. Oh, and what do you think causes this mental health issues? Why do you think they behave in that certain way? What really pushes them to, to this condition? Um, there are different causes of mental health. One, they, they are, there can be emotional causes and financial causes. An example of an emotional cause is um, abusive relationships or um, if, if maybe you have issues at home or personal issues, like maybe you lost someone, that is an emotional cause. And then there's financial issues whereby you, maybe you are broke and you, you have no other ways. So you are disturbed, you get depressed because you try to live like other people, but you cannot like, unajaribu kuishi life in Oh, come a class. Yeah, there's a certain class, so unajaribu, but how thick you go. So when you are disturbed, you are always depressed because you want to try and achieve this, but always achieve. Oh, nini nini tunezafanya enye inezasaidia watu kutopata hii condition? First of all, tunezajaribu kuni centers zenye nasaidia watu kuhongelesha. Or we create forums zenye waneza kuja, wakuhongelesha kusu mental health, wajue so that you don't suffer from depression. Um, as a person suffering from mental health, you can seek help from your friends and like fellow students and also there's guidance and counseling department where you can go and seek help. And if it's 
financial you can find you can get a part time job or try and find a job in school in school there are jobs that are offered to students who are not well off so that they can be able to manage their finances so that's it guys and please reach out for help if you have a condition thank you rehema for such a conclusive interview and guys remember it's okay not to be okay secondly you can seek help i've been your host washira yvonne and remember show some love